So perfect blue skies, almost no wind, beautiful sunshine. These are indeed conditions for the beautiful game. The backdrop here, picturesque, idyllic. No doubt one of the best days of the footballing calendar and it has added to a really jovial, happy mood in the stands, helping to raise the level of sound by more than a few decibels. Shirt sleeve order, very much the dress code. It is a venue this which simply adds to the spectacle of the game it stages. One of the most impressive arenas in this part of the world. If you're just joining us, we are already on the way. Good ball. Goyos. Now the cross. Zinchenko. It upfield. Just brushed off the ball there. Defenders on the back foot. Loose ball. Who's going to get that? Zinchenko. A heavy challenge. Oh, super tackle. They were outnumbered and under the cosh. That had to be spot on, and it was. Goyos. Defending there, they've slammed the door in the faces of the opposition. Rice. It's not the game we were hoping for, Peter. I think both of these keepers could text about their respective uninvolvement. He's got options out wide. Lavernia. Found his man. Oh, keep his ball. Zinchenko. Zinchenko drives it forward. Played into space out wide. Castledine. Forward it goes. Hervé, a reprieve, albeit perhaps momentary. Vrani. Castledine. Lavernia. Sinchenko tries to get it forward quickly. Has he picked him out? Oh, that is asking for trouble. Oh, he shoots! A really close shave in the last action of the first half. They both sides have drawn blanks. They have toiled at times, but it's not been a bad game by any means. What do you think we're up to after 45 minutes? Well, this has proved a very frustrating day so far, especially for the strikers. Nothing has been created for him. I think the service has been extremely poor. And a sweeping half, lacking only in goals. The score, nil nil. And we are already promptly back on the way. Juventus can be very glad that half time came when it did. Poor possession and very little firepower means they need a serious pickup in this second half. No guts, no glory. Lavernia tried to play it through, clearly is miffed having made the run and not get picked out. And it's played forward. Herve unable to make it happen for all his good intentions. He's picked him out. Goyos. Promising run he's making on the right. Castle Dime. 
Koyos. And he's there to hoof it away. It'll be a throw in. And he's cut it out. Hoists it forward. He's played him through. I think that's offside. Yes, it is. Parada goes looking. Parada needed to come up with a better ball. The movement was good, but the pass lacked authority, uh, a cause of mild frustration. Forward it goes. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Pass needed to be better than that, and he knows it. And they're not going to make any further progress now. Going through. And he's there to cut it out. And it's Mario. Laverne. Laverne! Lingered over it, and the chance to counter had gone. Uh, Peter, the best counter attacks are, are pacey and incisive, we know that. And that one never really got going. Played it short. Madrid with another corner. And it's been taken short. Heave to the back. Great lead! He's done well to get his head on that, but couldn't score. Well, plenty of moving targets to pick out in the box. Obviously increases the chances of the ball being met like that by someone. Parada. Herve. Keeps everyone guessing. Chance! Well, he should have done better, and he knows it. Now, there is one relief goalkeeper. He was helpless. The changes then in quick succession. I think you have to admire his willingness to keep plugging away, but the manager has, has done him a big favour, I think, by, by taking him off. You know, he was looking very, very leggy. Dreesen. Zinchenko. Tries to dink it in. Dreesen looking to get on the end of this. Loses his balance and loses the ball. And that's it. And stalemate. One, if not for fans, then perhaps for coaches. That was by 